Seven rigs going with us. Name it, name it. So name them, name them. We're now using the LC788 troop carrier. Na naka full overland setup. So yun yung kama namin tonight. So as you can see, pa akyat na tayo sa Mount Kila. So may kita nyo, may back train dito. Kasi lagi yung mama sa Europa. Lagi yung mga lang. Video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dance slide. Boom. Toopy. H3. Beautiful. Guys, so fresh and too big. <laughs> Baba with you, sir. Amazing. Race Asia. So as you can see, uh, packed up na ulit kami. So nakita natin yung unang landslide kami sobrang grabe talaga. So tuloy tuloy lang tong ating uh, adventure going up to Mount Kila. yung dilemma namin ngayon may landslide dito tapos hindi pa nakiklear so parang not possible motor ka kaya pero kotse parang kalanganin pa so we're gonna attempt to pass through cheers and cheers on beer lockers let's go Step board. Okay, lang. 
side drain. Bawi. Bawi. One car through. So, yung gamit po ni Sir Babang Rock Slider. Fabricated ko po yan. Siya po mismo ng welding. Kita nyo naman, matibay. Okay, we'll see how we go from here again. So, may landslide na naman. Tas mukhang mas... May landslide na naman dito. Hindi pa kami sure kung makakadaan. Tingin mo, Boss Junior. Kaya? Tingnan muna natin. Tingnan muna natin. Grabe yung movie. We'd like to thank our sponsors for today's video. Warn Witch. So yung sabi niya, sobrang hirap ng daan kasi gumuho yung, gumuho yung, ano, yung bundok. So titignan namin kung saan pinaka-okay dumaan ngayon. Okay, let's see. Sir, what brand is your bumper? It's brand new, brand new. See, this is the root cause of the issue. As you can see, this is the root cause of the problem. The root cause. Now the road is more passable. Thank you. That's five minutes. Kita niyo naman po apo, Congressman Rudy Parinas, Provinciano of Martinez. Inaayos yung daan natin going to Kapari. Thank you, Kong. Okay. On back of the day, you know why the most difficult roads are called trials? Because if it was easy, that would be no trail. They call this the blazing mountains of the Gorms. Out here, you can see, then of course this way, so it's out back. Because if it's like this, it's going to out front. You can see the trail is a bit gnarly. For Rocky, the new Land Cruiser, whatever model this is, I don't know, it's new, it's a prototype. We're trying it out with all new wheels, all new suspension. We're going to get very muddy today, and we're going to bring you off on the ride. Sir, sir, question. What accessory is this? We're going to This is RFC spec. This is the situation now. The Hummer is up. But we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Guerrero from Kulin Off Road. What is fortunate? Wild. So this is our Hilux, our support vehicle. So as you can see, it's doing its work. Let's go. Lima pa. Passenger, 
The kilometer 666. The devil, the devil road. Shows might a little, a little crawl to the left. Okay. Okay. Inayad lang, baby boy. Inayad. Okay lang. Inayad. Inayad. Okay. Baba slowly ah. Inayad lang. Ito ay kabig mo ito ay. Slowly lang. Sige. Okay. Slowly. Sige. Hop. Kabig pa si Dito Yenko. Okay. Listen. Okay. Okay lang. Wait lang, wait lang. Then, then, kau tuin, kau tuin, kau dapat tuh dah. What can you say, Mike? Beautiful, Mike. The outback, really precious. Hello. All right, Mike. Nice one, Mike. LZ two hundred, Mike. Oi, kabik kau tuin ko. Sige. Okay. What you? What can you say, Mike? Hello, brother. So as you can see, the troop carrier got stuck because the soil is very soft. So it took us around uh, one and a half to two hours to put it back on the track with lots of uh, winching points from uh, different angles. And I hope we can get it out right now. So finally, after so many tries with uh, teamwork and a good uh, toe hitch point, winching point, uh, we got it out of that uh, very soft soil. So now we're back on the track and we're about to hit more adventures. How many hours na tayo? We've been on this trail since 9am 2.42 na po Yeah, and it's 2.42 Is di pa rin tapos? Look at the road here in Paranasan Amazing
finally, after eight hours of uh, trail, we reach our destination for tonight, a beautiful river here in Kalanasan, Apayao. Okay, so day two, uh, we're ready to go. So you can see our car is soaked in mud. We experienced some of the most difficult uh, landslide trails yesterday. So we're good to go for our second day and uh, we'll see how it goes. Stay with us and let's go for another day of uh, fun adventure. Oh, good to see you now. Good morning. So this is night two. We're supposed to go to Kalanasan over there. But the roads were too gnarly. My friend had a broken CB axle. He dropped his ball joint. We had to get a new differential lock, but we couldn't find one. So we had to weld it shut. A little bush fix, but we're fine. We're going to Mount Keelong today. It's just about a kilometer away, about two hours with uh, how bad the landslides are. We're gonna see you in the next episode. That's five minutes here tomorrow. So you can see we've reached the first obstacle for the night. We call this a double zombie. Don't ask me why. <laughs> As you can see, uh, we had to go back because the road was uh, very soft. So our team are currently putting up some rocks on the road to get more traction. And of course, we have Max Rex with us to help us get along the way.
That's what we do here. So, we are going to What happened? Bata yang gearbox. English, English. Ah, uh, the gearbox dead. <laughs> it's broken. Dead. <laughs> what are we, what are we gonna do? Buy another gearbox. Buy another gearbox. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're finally back on the road after fixing the problem with the patrol. Simple gearbox problem, but we find a way to make it work again. So we're now going up to Mount Kilang for our second night. done with the trails we can do the reviews for the car lights very bright so bright I can't see anything we got the new Baja design light ALB bumper ALB bumper made in Australia from Rod Rack Africa ALB roof rack Rod Runner we changed it <laughs> we changed it last night without you telling you <laughs> We got the antenna because you know there's no signal in the mountains. We need to uh, call a friend. Synthetic winch, original Toyota emblem, still stealable. Clear view, clear view. The best tires, BF coverage. Clear view, side Underneath the bonnet. There's nothing underneath the bonnet for now. We got the American made hover. Which we rescued with the Toyotas a bunch of times. <laughs> Finally, we call this Steely Wonder. LT200, rigid light, Alucal, the works. Never mind the punch. <laughs> the boundary of Ilocos Norte is so foggy here, as you can see. Troop carrier. H3 SUT All soaked in mud LC200 Good still After three days and two nights of camping, what can you say? The trail was amazing. Yeah. Philippines is definitely a must-go spot for uh, overlanding and off-roading. We have seen uh, yesterday uh, the snake we saw here. And we see you, you're really a Steve Kerwin. Kerwin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Kerwin of uh, the Philippines. Thanks to our hard-working team. Everybody say hi. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. So we're now going home. Ooh, that's 
So this is just like a 30 to 45 minute drive going home. And this is our cars. Our reliable cars that conquered all those landslides. Amazing. And of course the troop carrier. With so much stuff on top. Because our hitch basket got destroyed. So we don't have hitch basket now in the back. It's already on top as you can see. And of course. We have uh, Chupa here. How was your Sup? experience camping with all those uh, landslides? Uh, it was a very hard experience. Okay. But with the power, the pro right equipment, the right people, you the right guides, we were able to manage. We were able to manage everything, almost everything. Yes. Yeah. So because uh, we didn't reach our destination due to that bridge that you know collapsed. So it was fun. As you can see, the winds just there. Nice camping trip! Turn your magic on Let me see 